Hi guys, it's D.W. Harris, and it's about uh, 35 degrees out. I just brought my Benjamin Prowler brake barrel outside here, and I want to shoot it downrange at 30 yards at a target while the gun is warm. And when I'm done with that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shut the camera off and I'm going to leave the gun outside for about an hour, come back out and shoot six shots at the second target, and let's see what the difference is on the impact points of the pellets. Let me get you down range. <clears throat> Oops, sorry about that. Target on the right six times. I know a lot of times I come out, I come out to shoot my gun, and it's shooting real nice, and it's cold. I come out to shoot my gun, and it's shooting real nice, and it's cold out, and it's it's like it needs to be uh, uh, re uh, sighted. So let's just see what the difference is here. And these are six pellets. One more. Okay. So now we'll just leave the gun out here and uh, let it cool down to the outdoor temperature and take six shots at the left target there. All right, it's, it's been a little over an hour, and now uh, I'm going to take six shots at that uh, the, the target on the uh, on the left. Let's see uh, see if there's a difference in the impact. It doesn't even look like I'm hitting the target now with the cold gun. Let's see. Shot number three. Number four. Got 
about number five. Number six. All right, let me go down and bring those targets up and uh, get a close look at what happened here. Let me uh, zoom this back out. Okay, so here's our two targets. And uh, this was this target here, the one on the right, this is the one we shot uh, with the warm gun right when it came out of the house. It took those six shots. And it, it's, a, it's only a three-inch target, and they weren't bad. There's one that was kind of far out from the others. And we shot it cold. They shot together pretty good. One of them was a flyer over here, so if you don't count that one, and you don't count, you don't count these two. The grouping is uh, pretty similar. This one's actually a little tighter, looks like. And um, the difference is it it doesn't shoot down here when it's cold. This particular gun shoots high, so that's where the reason for the video is to see. What happens with the difference between a warm gun and you bring it out into the cold? So if you're going to go hunting and you bring it out into the cold, you got to see how it shoots and readjust your scope or whatever so that you're going to be on target. And we got two out on that one using the washer on the cold, but we're not counting that. And we've got two out on this one here. So it sh shoots roughly about the same. Hot or cold, but it's a different point of impact, which is very important. Okay, guys, so now we know that temperature does matter when you're uh, using a brake barrel. And the same, I think, with most guns, there is a little difference. There seems to be less of a difference with the PCP. But uh, if you have a brake barrel, you got it in a warm house, 70 degrees in the house, it's 35, 40 degrees outside. Once the gun's outside for an hour, it's gonna shoot different. It's, it's gonna, you're gonna have to readjust your sights if you're going hunting and, or tiger shooting or anything. You need to let it sit out, readjust your sights, and then you're all set. So, that'll be it for this one, guys. Thank you.